I'm not happy with the president. I personally, I believe that I know that healthcare is needed. We all need it very much, but I believe that's something that he should have focused on on a second term and the economy and the, um, the economy should have been his focus along with education and the housing market. How, how do we get things and get things working, get change? That's what that's what he campaigned on. And and, and I just feel like none of this other stuff, it, it work, nothing makes sense with the Democrats as well as the Republicans because they got a one way view. My wife and I have owned a small manufacturing business for the past six years and we have really struggled to keep our head above the above water and keep our eight folks employed. Um, but there's no way that I can look to expanding the employment base, hiring more people at this point. And, you know, frankly, with the changes in, in you know, healthcare and all that stuff, we're just scared to death about whether or not, you know, we've survived five plus years of it so far, whether we can continue to survive at all. I don't see any, any light because uh, the Republican Party, unfortunately, which I'm part of, um, is not offering any solutions. I, I see nothing for the, the, the middle class. In Ryan's and I don't see anything from our commander in chief. Okay. I, don't, I don't hear anything, Definitely. I don't see anything. So where do the American people go? Um, what do we do? So this is, this is the problem. I, I, I am not I agree. particularly excited about the presidential election just because there's no accountability. There never seems to be any accountability. This problem that you're having, why is this happening? Because there's no accountability. Oops, we'll do it, oops, oops. That's just about it. That's, that's all that happens. No one goes to jail. Why is, why <laughs> no, nobody, nobody has been prosecuted for this. No one, no one has been prosecuted, no. not, not one person. Because it exposes both sides of it. It exposes the banking side of it and the political side of it. In Florida, we have 53,000 people homeless living on the streets or in shelters. There are 750,000 foreclosures in Florida. If you have that demographic that no longer has discretionary funding, how are they going to attend to your stores or buy in your stores? And they, this is the group that, of people who just don't want to vote. They're not interested in voting for either party. And they're disappointed with the Obama administration because they, claim, they feel he just left them out totally. A lot of these people, knew full well going into it that you couldn't afford a home that they tried to purchase. Yes, the banks were lending the money and they have that, that side of the responsibility of it. But for example, let's just say I, I took in an income of $30,000 and I knew that paying an interest only loan you know, on a $300,000 house, which I could never afford and I know that, but the banks are telling me, yeah, we'll just pay interest only and then you'll have this balloon payment five years down the road, but don't worry about it, we'll take care of it later. The math just doesn't add up. Going into a bank, and saying to them, I saw this house that I would like, but I only make $1,200 a year. The bank, the mortgage brokers, and the real estate brokers said to this family, this is what it's going to be. You take this mortgage out now, and in two years, your house is going to double. And in the interim, in the next two years, you could pay this $400. So at the end of two years, you could refinance to a 30-year fix, or because your house has doubled, you could sell right. it. On that if year. you get that kind of information from a bank that you trust, won't you take it? I see uh, a serious disconnect between Obama's promises when he got elected and what has manifested into policy. Um, I appreciate um, his heart and his attempt to provide the, the needy health care. However, it's a really scary thought to, that a government that is uh, spiraling out of control and debt is not controlling the health care. So that is a very scary thing. The Republican side, uh, Mitt Romney has stellar business experience and he can bring that to the table. However, he is so disconnected from the middle class. No, no, nobody could have been more differently presented than Obama, and yet he turned out to be worse than establishment. If, if, you, if you really pay attention to Obama's administration, he brought all of old Clinton's people in. You bet. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it, it seems to be the policy of these administrations that a, a, a um, um, Bush brought all the old Reagan's people in. They don't seem, they keep um, recycling the same group of people, and because of that, we, we get the same policies that have failed policies. The poor, they don't fund the coffers of the Democratic or the Republican parties. So obviously they have no voice. And that's what I'm having a problem with because if I, when I go out there to talk to people about going to vote. They have no hope. 
they have no hope. They say, what am I voting for? What am I voting for? He hasn't done anything. He hasn't done anything. That's part of the problem.